We've had Gen X, Y, Z, millennials. Every generation has a name, but I am going to give this era in our lives a new generational name. And that is the notification generation. So what do I mean about the notification generation? Well, we are constantly being bombarded by notifications now, aren't we? We have it obviously on our smartphones. Just, I mean, if you're around somebody when they receive a notification, you just know how driven people are by seeing their phone light up and wondering what that notification is all about. And you'll see their eyes automatically go to it. You'll see people picking up their phone when they're driving because they can't resist the power of a phone notification. And it's not a great thing, is it? Well, it's definitely not a great thing when you're driving, but if you're in someone's company and they are driven to pick up their phone or even take their attention from you and glance at their phone, it doesn't feel great, does it, to be on the receiving end of that? Also, it's interrupting our everyday lives. It's taking us away from the present around us and what we're doing in that moment and taking it back to the digital and stuff that we don't need to know right away. And this video was triggered by something I heard on the radio this morning when I was driving, which was about how someone had been lured to click on a news article that had popped up on their phone because of the clickbait title. And I just thought, are we really that sad that we have to know the news instantly? The instant there's news, we must know straight away and we must jump on that news instantly. Do we need to be filling our lives with that negativity of the notifications of news, breaking stories, which let's face it, are very, very rarely positive coming through. And of course, it's not just news, it's social media updates, it's WhatsApp notifications, it's messages from friends. And do you know what? Pretty much every app out there asks us to allow notifications. And then we also have notifications on our computers in our working lives, popping up to tell us that we have an email do we need to reply to emails instantly? Do we need to know straight away that we have a new email? Absolutely not. And yet so many people have those notifications pinging up. Or it might be that there's Teams chats going on with notifications coming through that there's a new chat. Um, or all the others, again, that could be pinging onto our computer, depending on what software you use in your working life. And the problem with this notification generation is it means that we are constantly being taken away from task our focus and attention is constantly being driven elsewhere. And that means that we are struggling to focus and pay attention because we're not used to being able to focus for any length of time on any one particular thing. Now, research has shown that the average office worker can only focus on task for about three minutes. It's also been shown that it takes around 27 minutes to get your focus back on task after you've been interrupted. And that interruption could be as simple as your phone lighting up to tell you that you something you're watching on eBay has been bid on. That is just, even without going on the app, on, our attention has been diverted elsewhere. And then it's going to take on average around 27 minutes to get us back on task. And there's another really interesting study on this that uh, Hewlett Packard did many years ago in 2005 before iPhones even existed. And that study looked at IQ test scores when you received email notifications while you were taking the IQ test. And actually that lowered IQ by on average 10 points. So being interrupted by those notifications lowered IQ by 10 points. Now that compared that to a study that showed that smoking weed, smoking marijuana while taking an IQ test, being under the influence of drugs, um, under the influence of marijuana, cannabis, um, led to a drop in IQ points of around four points, 10 and four. It was over twice as many points lowered by digital notifications. We are in the notification generation and we need to do something about it. And the simple way that you can do something about it to help yourself is don't allow notifications when you sign up to new apps and turn off all notifications right now. Leave on things like your phone ringing, maybe possibly your text messages, but turn off all of the notifications. We don't need to know instantly when something has happened or when someone has got in touch with us. If it's an emergency, they'll find a way to get a hold of you.
Let me know what you think in the comments below about this. What do you think about the notification generation? Is it a good thing that we're always on the ball and we always know what's happening in the world and, and with our friends and family and we can respond to things instantly? And similarly in a working environment, is it a great thing that we know the second we have an email or we can constantly be keep updated on Teams chat? Or is it holding us back in some way? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I am running a workshop on how to create a positive digital culture in your workplace. Because the reality is now that digital solutions are just such a huge part of the way we work that it's really impacting productivity and performance in a lot of workplaces. And I'd love to help improve that as well as help improve well-being because it isn't great for well-being either. So I'll pop the details for that in the description below and I would love for you to come join me for that workshop. Um, and I, yeah, do let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts on the notification generation and I'll see you again soon. Take care.